citizens of heaven, the time has come for battle. Who will rise up to the challenge? For God says, He gives power to the weak and strength to the powerless. Isaiah 40, 29. So have no fear. God will give you the kind of strength that matters the most. Spiritual strength. Remember that the enemy never sleeps. Therefore, protect yourselves by putting on the whole armor of God. First, the belt of truth. The breastplate of righteousness. The shoes of readiness to spread the good news. The shield of faith. The helmet of salvation. Finally, the sword of the spirit which is the Word of God. As a child, we may need to see the armor physically to understand its true significance. But when we grow up, we need to put on the spiritual armor of God. In 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 11, it says, When I was a child, I spoke and thought and reasoned as a child. But when I grew up, I put away childish things. As we grow, we must never forget our God. In fact, we need to rely on His strength even more. Ephesians 6 verses 10 through 18 The whole armor of God. A final word, be strong in the Lord and in His mighty power. Put on all of God's armor so that you will be able to stand firm against all strategies of the devil. For we are not fighting against flesh and blood enemies, but against evil rulers and authorities of the unseen world, against mighty powers in the dark world, and against evil spirits in the heavenly places. Therefore put on every piece of God's armor so you will be able to resist the enemy in the time of evil. Then after the battle you will still be standing firm. Stand your ground, put on the belt of truth and the body armor of God's righteousness. For shoes, put on the peace that comes from the good news so that you will be fully prepared. In addition to all of these, hold up the shield of faith to stop the fiery arrows of the devil. Put on salvation as your helmet and take the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. Pray in the Spirit at all times and on every occasion. Stay alert and be persistent in your prayers for all believers everywhere. Finally, I will end with this, Joshua 1, verse 9. This is my command, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or discouraged, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. You are a warrior for Christ.